Yo, yo, welcome to the channel. This is your boy AK Electro. And today, what I got for you is you can tell them by the title and the thumbnail of the video is my team. Before we do get into the video, please don't be afraid to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. And also, check out those links below my Twitch and Twitter. I stream almost daily. You can catch me playing Legend gameplay. And also, don't be afraid to click on my Twitter and check out Green Gang Org. We're a bunch of cool ass dudes that have stream, upload videos, upload TikToks. And don't be afraid to check out those links. I'd greatly, greatly appreciate it. But let's get into the reason you're here. Okay, so as you can tell, you probably already see my team, which if you just really wanted to see my team, you could literally just click the video. And I don't know what you want to get out of this video, but I'm going to try and cover everything in my thought process of what my team is like and what I could do better and who, who you should be using if you have the players I have and why you should be using this way. Okay, let me fix this first. So I'm going to go over everyone and I'm going to tell you what I'm trying to improve on and uh, what I'm going to be looking for in the future, what cards might be coming out and what I, what I think I'll be doing in the future and what I have currently going on. So let's go on the outfield. Obviously Mike Trout, no even to explain him. He's 400k, best outfielder in the game right now because you can literally, literally look at those stats. He has a glitchy ass swing. He can play every outfield spot at D diamond defense the only downside right now is if you put him in left he goes to silver but with the super fractor he's gonna go back up to gold and the reason I'm, i have him in left is because byron and byron's a weird guy byron i don't know how much longer he's gonna be on my team but the fact that his defense and speed is so good he might just stay on my team because it's so good um with hitting this year, it's a lot harder. If you haven't played Legend, it's literally so hard to hit against people who know how to pitch. So, it's literally like his defense brings a whole nother app. Like, defense matters more this year just because you don't want to give up free hits. Because you know that it's going to be low scoring. So, that's why I have him in the outfield. He literally can ball hawk anything in the outfield. Next is Steve Finley. Look at those stats on his attributes. Dude's a beast. He's probably not leaving the outfield. I don't think anybody is up for a spot grab here. I really don't. Maybe Byron Buxton for Acuna here soon. But unless Byron just sucks that bad, I don't think I'm going to take anybody out. Let's go into the infield. Third base, chipper. There's no explaining this. Switch hitter. I'm literally super close to getting a super factor. 1,500 off. And then we have literally the best card in the game. Switch hitter. He's going to have like close to diamond defense whenever he gets the plus one. Um, and then uh, first base, we have David Ortiz. I don't think he's going to be taken out anytime soon. But, you know, who knows? If they release a 99 Albert Pujols next week, I will be taking David Ortiz out. Um, because I, I, I just don't like first base. I don't like how they did first base as a collection award. I think that's a super big L. Because literally first base, I changed so much last year. And I don't get why something that costs a million stubs is literally a first baseman that you can't move anywhere. He literally doesn't have any other position. So it's such a big L. I have him because there's nobody better than him right now, but he can easily move. Bonzo Soriano at second. I don't hit really well with him. Literally, look, this is all legend. I'm hitting 250. Literally, that's all legend pretty much in Hall of Fame, and I just suck with him. That's why I have him hitting fifth. And then lastly, it's Ernie Banks, but I'm really trying to get the cap. <laughs> Literally, you're seeing me right now struggle with like a glitch. I have my cap at shortstop, and that's who's going to be taken out here soon. Ernie Banks will probably go to the bench, maybe for Turner or something. But that's pretty much it. I'm going to have my cap, and I recommend you do a cap at shortstop. Shortstop's always the weakest position or catcher. Shortstop or catcher. Posada is a switch hitting god, though, and that's why I don't think um, i'm gonna go cap it shortstop because switch hitting gods is what you want you want people who can hit lefty or switch hitters right handers like mike trout are good because he can hit uh the right hand inside of the plate but you want a lot of lefties because there's typically like right now there's not a lot of lefty uh pitchers that are really really good to be honest well there are and but there aren't you know it's it's literally you want to think of the matchup whenever you're constructing your team look at my lineup i have right right switch lefty right lefty right switch so i'm not having a million right handers a million left handers so i can basically i'm switching the side of the plate so i'm not having a right-handed and then a left-handed uh i'm not having straight right-handed pitchers and then he brings in a left-handed and i have to bat against a left-handed pitcher with lefty okay let's go to the bench 
I think a card you need to pick up is this Justin Turner off the bench. The dude can play everywhere in the field with really good hitting stats. And he's always had a glitchy swing for me. I haven't even used him, actually. Which is kind of crazy, because I, I have it. Um, Yelich, I think you pick this guy for your bench. Dude is literally a monster. Ballinger, and then Acuna. I think the way you should construct your bench is you want... I need to get a catcher. I'm probably going to take some one of these guys out. But you want someone who can hit... You want two people that can hit right-handed pitchers and two people who hit left-handed pitchers. So I have for right-handed pitchers, I have Yelich and Belly. And then for left-handed, I have Acuna and uh, Turner. And then for speed, I have Acuna and Tatis. And uh, you want someone who can hit, have speed. So you want, I would say, four hitters and speed. Uh, and then here soon, once they release a good catcher, I'll probably take out, like, either Acuna or Tatis, one of the speedsters. That way, if, like, say Posada's on second, I need him home with, like, one out, I can take uh, Posada out for a speedster and then put a catcher back in. I think you should do that immediately, but the problem is there's really no catcher that I'm not, I'm going to waste a spot on. Like, literally, look, I'm not putting Mercedes in there. He could be good, but it's just, like... I haven't gotten the spot yet, and I think, like, Will Smith I could put in there, but I'm just not worried about that right now. Let's go to the pitching staff. And, oh, Lord, I have one of the best pitching staffs that you can get right now. I'll move my screen so you can actually see the bottom uh, part. But look at this. I have Glavin, DeGrom, Burns, and uh, Valenzuela, and Hershiser. Literally, these four besides DeGrom are untouchable right now. Um, Literally, I have the... Four of the best pitchers in the game. Uh, the people I might take out is I could take Frank Tanana out or put him in for DeGrom or Felix. I think that's who you could put in. I just have DeGrom right now because I'm not pitching actually really bad with him. Look, I have a 3.3 ERA in 32 innings. Like, I'm not pitching bad with him, but his control is really, really bad on his off speed. Look at that, 57 to 62. It's just not good. Um, that's the only reason I, I'm a little scared of him. But it's he's literally like my last starter. Hershiser and Valenzuela. I recommend picking up both of these cards. Like, look at this. This is both legend games. 17 innings with only two earned. You're saying I'm playing the top thousand people in the world and I'm only giving up two earned? That screams something's wrong with the game, or one it's either saying this game is wrong in one reason or this card's OP. And it's really the card's OP, but there's some problems with the game. That could be another game. Or another video. Okay, now look at my bullpen. My bullpen is where I actually want to make some adjustments. But I don't know who. Because look at it. I have Williams, Franco, Hoffman, Gossage, Dibble, Chapman, and Hayter. I have three lefties, which is fine. Uh, like I said, starters can literally go eight innings fine. So it's like you don't even go deep in your bullpen. Like look at all this energy. Literally only one guy is dead on energy. Like. You don't, it's almost like I don't really want to worry about it because I don't use them every game. But at the same time, you know, you want the best reliever. So my, I actually sold Wayno. That's who I'll probably pick back up. And then I'll probably try and get Familia for Dibble. But besides that, I have one of the best teams. I have a God Squad. And I'm proud to admit it. Uh, I had a lot of hate on my other videos saying like I put a hundred bucks in. And you're not no money spent, which is technically true. I'll give you that. It's it really, you're right. It's not no money spent. But at the same time, I didn't pull jack dog doo-doo. I pulled nothing. So I've had a grind for every one of these cards by playing BR a whole bunch, playing all the BR programs, the programs that have been out. I grinded for this team. Yeah, I put 100 bucks and yeah, I got silvers to sell. But how much did I actually give back? 40K, 50K? Like... When I tell you, I didn't pull shit, I didn't pull shit. I literally streamed it, and I wasted 100 bucks for nothing. So, like, yeah, I, you know, I technically put 100 bucks in. Maybe I got that extra 100K. But let's be honest, 100K is literally, like, it's an advantage. But 100K is not that much in this game. You can literally flip for, like, two, three hours and make that up. Uh, if you want a video on how to flip, I'll make that video actually right now. But besides that, this is your boy K Electro. Peace.